A very warm welcome back to Spectacle Island for episode 15 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's just gone quarter past 12 lunchtime here on Spectacle Island in the in, in the in my efforts to streamline processes I think is the best way of putting it. after the last episode with revenue streams down at the biogas plant the bunker silo is empty the trailer has got about 180,000 odd litres left in it and the biogas plant is processing what I'm putting in so I'm gradually putting in it's gradually processing all great field 10 has now been seeded with oats field four all over there has that probably easy to show you on the map in it field 10 growing oats field four i've put another field of canola in like i say towards pig food i think that's going to help off field two we'll get straw swath from the wheat off field 10 we'll get straw swath from the oats and field seven we're going to get i'm going to do hay that's towards palletizing pellets now in order to streamline that process there's a couple of things i'm one thing i need to do one thing i have done i've emptied the fertilizer out the back of this because i remembered that i'd unloaded all my lime pallets or all the lime out of this over on our hard standing area over there i was reminded thank you very much about a certain situation and, and i did it on six ashes and forgot because you know what that's what i do <laughs> the pelletizer that we used on the field in the last episode has gone back we have that least and i've got nowhere to store my pellets at the moment they're sitting in the back of the international and i suddenly realized as well if i want to put the pellet hole in with the pelletizer i want to put it up here but these are going to be in the way i mean there's plenty of room the barn that was down the other end, the old barn, has been torn down because I wasn't using it. I put it there initially and I had all these ideas of what I was going to do up here. That has kind of changed somewhat. It's in flux, I think, is what, what it is. But because we're on Spectacle Island, I thought, why not go for an MF Shed Pack AJ Tech silo? Now, this is a multi-fruit silo. 500,000 litres, it will take everything, and it's only 59 grand. It's absolutely, you know, I, I say I shy away from using it because I got into the habit of using it all the time. And I wanted to use other silos and show off other things on other Let's Plays and that kind of thing. But this thing, for me, is still by far and away best price, best value for money, holds everything, brilliant bit of kit. If we come over to here, press circle, press circle. I thought I have put it around the right way, haven't I? I have. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to store my straw and hay pellets up here. So, rather than have the pelletizer, either like I did yesterday, running in the field and pelletizing what straws on the ground, or building the pellet hall and having the pelletizer there and bringing bales to the pellet hall, like I did on Greenwich Valley. I'm going to do the pellets separately and then bring the pellets to the pelletizer. That I thought would be an easy thing to do. So the pellets will be stored here. Now, yes, admittedly, I can store anything I want to in this. I have got the main silo, which I'm storing things in. I've got the hayloft, which I'm storing things in, which I will continue to do so. Do so. This will be an overflow only, and I'm only using it for straw and hay pellets at the moment. You may think that's a waste, but... Like I say, it's 59 grand. It's it's not like I've just spent two, 300 grand on a silo that I'm barely going to use. It's a brilliant price and it works really well. So what I'm going to do is move the lime out of the way from here because the main silo, or this silo as well will do it, but the main silo, after the update, will now hold seed, fertiliser, lime and pig food. So the fact it's right next to the pigs as well is perfect if I'm going to put pig food in it. But for the time being, I'm going to move this lime out of the way. I'm going to unload it over there. Then I'm going to use the wheel loader to put it into that silo. That'll be that part done. Let me come on to the pellets. The international, I will bring over here and unload the pellets into this silo for storage for the time being. Everything is growing over there. As soon as I get another full load 
of digestate, 64,000 litres. I'm going to take it over to the slurry yard and sell it. The price was falling and it stopped at 1155, I think it was. Uh, where are we? We're up to 53,000 litres and climbing. I have to say, considering how much I've put in there, the ratio of how much silage goes into how much digestate is coming out seems very low. I can't remember what map I was on. What map was I on when it was literally, it was one to one? Oh, that might have been Eureka Farms, though. I know, obviously, that what you get out of digestate's byproducts is going to be less than what you put in silage. That's just, you know, the nature of the process. What was it? Yeah, 1155. So that's a really good price, let's be honest. For um, for the byproducts of digestate, that's one of the best prices. Now, unless you're playing on this on easy economy, or... If I left it a bit longer and the price climbed, I might find I'd get a much better price for it. But to be honest with you, I'm happy at that price. The last load I took, I got 73 grand. For something that on most Let's Plays I don't use. I think Washo, I used loads of it. I was spreading the digestate. I used so much of it. So what we'll do is... I need to unload somewhere. I'm not going to be in the way. Maybe about there. That'll do. Let me move that. The turning circle on this foremost isn't great. It could be the big tyres. But it's not fantastic. Moving on. Now, uh, I haven't been on to read my comments for a couple of days. It was Father's Day yesterday. Uh, I've, I've been doing a load of stuff at the end of this week on Sunday. Sunday is Celia G's 18th birthday. 18. She's my youngest. Now I feel really old. Um, so my brother and all his family are all coming. We have a barbecue, a bit of a party, that kind of thing. Out in the garden, providing the weather holds. So I've been doing a load of jobs and, you know, you know what it's like. A bit of tidying, cleaning the deck, all that kind of thing. So, and obviously there's prep stuff to do for the for a party, things to go and buy and get and organise or whatever. So I've been a bit busy. I haven't been on my comments over the weekend so any comments left in the last episode apologize if i'm doing something you might have already mentioned i i haven't read any comments so i do apologize i was going to say something then. there was there was something i started off saying that was regarding something i spoke about and i can't think what it was now so yeah so this will take these now if you're new to this if you're new to me this on the front of here is the big bag handler from the CSZ pack by DD Mod Passion. This is my go to. It's just. Um, yes, I can use pallet forks. Yes, I have used pallet forks on various different Let's Plays for a long, long time. And with more practice, the better you get, and all that kind of thing. I totally agree. But for ease of use, these things are phenomenal. It may, for me. It, Unless it does that, of course, which it does occasionally. No, stop! Thank you. Well, that's destroyed every linkage and everything on the on the wheel loader. Don't do it again. Don't. Do it. Sometimes they'll fling across the map. Don't. So what is going on? Every other one I've done so far has been absolutely fine. For some reason, not liking it. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, these are really great. <laughs> um. Yeah, for me, I, I like the process of loading pallets and bales and that kind of thing onto trailers and, you know, all those things I've said before, all those mundane processes that people find boring and don't like. And I, I quite like it. I like stacking things on that kind of thing. And using pallet forks, if you can master it, there's something very satisfying about when you do it and it works and you think, yeah, I did that. This makes that process a lot easier. If you're one of those people that doesn't enjoy doing that sort of thing, you want to have a go, but you want to make it a little bit easier and more user-friendly. Oh, maybe I'll just do one this time. Um, these work brilliantly. And you get that same feeling of, I did that, I loaded that up, without the frustration and annoyance you sometimes get with pallet forks. There are so many different modded pallet forks and front loader sets and stuff out there. There's long forks and short forks and wider ones, and the CSZ pack's full of stuff you know, that you can adjust and you know, do all sorts of things with. I was wondering why these have taken a lot longer. The, each of these pallets is 2,000 litres, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. I didn't realise how much lime I had left over.
think it's because I wasn't quite in the middle. It needs to be right. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? Hmm. Okay. We seem to have stretched the strap somewhat. Right, now this is done and out of the way. So at midnight, we should get paid for all the digestate going through the biogas plant now. I need to be over 400,000 because to buy the, the pelletizing hall, the palletizing hall, sorry, uh, which if you've got... Now, again, I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm sure this was updated and sorted. Last time I tried to use this on six ashes, it all went horribly wrong. It became a ghostly building that I couldn't use. Now, I've been reliably informed it's all working fine now. But the pallet hall with palletizer, you can just have the hall, which is expensive, 175 grand. You can have the hall with cranes, so if you want to move pallets and things around, that's great. Again, fairly expensive. But the whole rig, whole setup is 400 grand. That's what I'm aiming for. On, yes, yeah, so on six ashes, I was aiming to do it, but didn't do it because I had a load of issues. On Greenwich Valley, I had already, it was part of my prep for the Let's Play, I'd hired... It was already there. I set up a little industrial estate. So the building and stuff was already there when I started the Let's Play. So I never actually built up to buying it. So it's one of those things that if you want to get into doing it, it's quite expensive, which leads me on to the next thing we're going to talk about. The hall is 400,000. Now, to do the pelletizing, as we found out yesterday, yeah, yesterday, you need as part of the pack also the Primos, the Primos 5,000, which is 320 grand. So to be able to make pellets, whether it's on the field or put bales on, with the bale shredder that's next to it for another 31 grand, you're looking at 750 grand for the whole, the palletizer, the pelletizer, you know, it's an expensive prospect. And I wanted to use that, which I did in the last episode, but I'd forgotten about something which I was reminded of. Now this is a hack, a cheat. I don't know why it's doing it, why it did it. But if you're not aware of this, if you are, you'll know what I'm going to do immediately. Um, but if you want to get into doing the pelletizing, even, even if you just want to set them loose, if you want to have a go or whatever, what's been happening since an update, and I can't which update it was, if you get a feed mixer like this, and you've got loose straw. So if you've got loose straw stored in a... I know, does it work with hay as well? Might do. If I go to here and I get my loose straw out. So if I was doing total mix ration and putting straw in, that's fine. Because it just makes the total mix ration. If I come and just get straw from my straw barn. So let's go across to straw. Um, I thought I had... Hang on a minute. What is going on here? Something's gone horribly wrong. If you recall, the start of this Let's Play, in the first few episodes, all of the straw that I picked up off the ground with the loading wagon, I put in here. I had like 200 and something thousand litres of straw in here. I'm sure I did. Where's my straw gone? what is happening silent all my straws gone i've got hey you're kidding me oh this is going to look really rubbish then well what i was going to say was if you go across the straw and take your loose straw out of whatever hay loft, whatever you're doing, it turns it in the feed mixer automatically into straw pellets. So this becomes an incredibly cheap alternative, depending on what feed mixer you go with. So that's a cheap pelletizer. <laughs> Very cheap compared to the actual pelletizer. I can then store these away as straw pellets and then use them in the pellet hall for palletizing the pellets. Where has all my straw gone? I couldn't have missed that part of the update. 
That can't have been because I put in that extra silo, surely. Because it's not showing up anywhere. Oh man, I had lows in there as well. Well, I mean, it's, it still shows the process. So yes, so you can make straw pellets without really using the, the pelletizer. I know it's dodgy, it's a cheat, it's a hack, it's whatever. So they're going to be stored in there. I'll do the same with the hay pellets, probably, if it will let me do the hay pellets. Now what's weird is... Yeah, there's nothing else in there, is there at the moment? It's a brand new silo. So I'm going to bring the international over. I'm going to put the pellets that I made in the last episode in there. Which means now, to, if I just get loose material off the field, it's all my straw swaths I'll get off the field and I'll store. I can turn them into pellets, no problem at all. Getting a loading wagon, and if you've already got a feed mixer, is so much cheaper than buying that pelletizer. And um, that was just, it was supposed to be a kind of minor footnote in amongst everything else I was doing. And I have now discovered all that, yeah. Someone's been in a nick to all my straw. Some thief, some little tea leaf's been in, nicking my stuff. I'm not happy about that. Okay, right, well, feed mix will come over here. I need to make some more Thermix ration. Let's stop from there. And, right, let's just double check our slurry situation. We're over 64,000 litres, which means I need to bring the lorry cab back from down the biogas plant, hook up to the tanker. I'll fill up my digestate from here, from this pipe. And we'll take it over to the slurry yard and sell another load. Then what am I on to? Because everything else is growing. I don't think I'm ready for anything. Growth. No, I was hoping the sunflowers might be ready. So what process do I do next? I don't think the grass is ready to cut again for making hay. Haven't got enough for, yeah, I'm kind of in limbo now. I might see you, I'm just trying to think, I might see you in the morning. It's going to rain in a little while anyway. I know it's only 12.34, but it's not really a lot I can do. Because then in the morning, if I get enough money from the biogas plant, from all the silage, we should have enough money to put the pelletizing hall in. Palletizing hall. Oh, I always, I keep getting it wrong. Sorry, the palletizing hall. We'll put that in, and maybe we can make a start in a bit of. Maybe there'll be more to harvest by then as well. Anyway, so maybe we'll build it. We'll get some harvest work done. Some more pellets done. I can, yeah, I'm going to need to get a loading wagon then, aren't I? Because I leased them the last time I did it. Yes, we'll do that. Anyway, so. So yeah, this week, um, following on from what I was saying earlier, this week may be a little bit, uh, I don't want it to be, I'll try my best, it might be a little bit hit and miss here and there, because at different points during the week, I've got, I've got things and places I need to be to collect things, buy things, order things, you know, ready for a party at the weekend. So I will, as best as I can, continue to do mod reviews and let's plays and map tours if they pop up and gold rush if i get the time i will do my best that's all i can promise so yeah i'll see you later whether it's later on today or whether it's tomorrow and uh, we'll get some more work done i need to go and pick up this lorry cab and let's get some digestate sold
another full load of digestate as you've just seen has been taken that's now full again my trailer is empty so the biogas plant is now digesting what it's got in it so it's got about 120 odd thousand liters in there that's digesting what i also realized looking through the prices the uh, the price menu manure at the biogas plant that's worth yeah 720 as well so your silage is 720 but so is your manure now i haven't got a massive amount but every bit is going to help so what i'm going to do is what i have got i'm going to load up so it's a little bit of time for the door to open and close the seat to swing into place and then we're ready to go so yeah i'm going to put whatever i've got now obviously that's that trailer at the moment is unreal and for anyone that, that's uh, this is not in any way shape or form i mean most of my let's plays aren't exactly this is not a realistic gameplay it's not a realistic let's play this is a you know just a play um and i think it's this one's a bit more about kind of alternatives options available that kind of thing because when i said earlier on about getting a loading wagon i don't need a loading wagon do i that is now ex expanded to take 250,000 litres I bought the MAN with the front lifter on it, the front three point link. All I need to get is a milling machine. Get the milling machine for five grand, milling machine picks up off the floor, throws into the back of there, I've got my loading wagon. I don't need to buy a loading wagon. So that's going to be my option, and I can go around and keep going so I've got 250,000 litres of straw in the back. Now, bearing in mind, by the morning, probably filled two should be ready to harvest. The oats we put in fields, 10, maybe, I don't know, might be ready to. I don't know how much we're going to have in here, probably should have moved the lorry around, shouldn't I? What we'll do is click about there, and rather than go that way round, I'll go the other way. This is lucky. This has got the high tip function. So, not only will this add to our fantastic payment at midnight, but it would also give me more digestate. Plus, again, Bear and Papa mentioned, sorry, I'm just, I just suddenly remembered, that the biogas plant here also takes, where are we? I've lost it. It takes potatoes, sugar beet, and sugar cane. Now sugar beet, I've got 162,185 litres of. Now I'm keeping that, or some of that, or most of that, for the pigs. However, if I was to do another big harvest, 341 at the biogas plant for sugar beet is as close to most other biogas plants on other maps I've played, but only pay 360 for silage. So 341 for sugar beet, plus you get the digestate, which I can then sell for over a grand for a thousand litres. So there are a ton of options here. I've got a little bit of sugar cane, I've got a little bit of potatoes, but again, I'm going to keep those, not the sugar cane, but keep those towards the pigs. So, you know what? Everything's going greater. I do have a ton of options. So if I did a massive sugar beet harvest and had you know i did sell a load didn't i that's the thing why is that not picking up as well i sold load by boat now had i not done and sold it at the biogas plant instead yes i would have got less for them for the actual sugar beet but getting the digest date and been able to sell that you more than make up for that price
So I'm going to take these. Whoa. Actually, I'm just thinking. If I've got another full load of digestate and it's still processing at 73 grand for a full load, I'm going to get to my 400 grand I need before midnight, aren't I? Yeah. Right, so I think out of that one. I think I've got a little bit in the pigs. It's not a huge amount, but again, it just proves the point. There's a whole load of options. I can use the manure if I want to for spreading on the fields. Oh, the rain's closing in. The weather. Storm time. Don't really want to go into that. With the dawn of the next day, the rain has stopped. It rained all night. And I'm happy to report that field three is more than ready to harvest now, as are one and two and four. I wonder if field 10 is. Yeah, field 10 is ready to harvest two, so I can crack on with any of them. I'm going to do field two because I want, to, I want to get the straw swaths off. That's the next step. Plus, we hit our 400,000 selling the digestate as you've seen we sold the rest of the digestate and then at midnight as you've already seen we earn was it 440,000? it was a little while ago that i did that this is being recorded separately so yeah whatever it was it said on the screen so we've got 935 grand not bad considering we sold all that digestate that was from the digestate and the silage of the biogas plant pretty good payout but what we've also got we've got a full egg pallet and the beauty with these being that again you shouldn't be able to but you can we can pick it up <laughs> so it makes it pretty easy for transportation now, i'm not sure how easily we're going to get through the doors here actually this is the best price it's paying about five thousand or something okay we'll take that as a no i go backwards will it let me through no, let me through. There we go. Right. And then from here, we might have to pass it through. No, it should be alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me through. Just a very tight. There we go. And there's our egg cell point. Is it going to recognise the eggs? Yes, just have to be a little bit higher. I should do alright on this. And this will go back because I've got a couple of boxes that left on the floor. This filled up overnight. Well worth doing it this way. See? All about alternatives. Tw 26 grand. Considering I bought those first couple of boxes and I was a bit kind of, oh, I thought it was going to be worth more than that. Wow. 26 grand. Chickens are paying their way. Let's push that through. As soon as we've got the gap. Uh, and if I turn around again, back up to the door, put it back on the Land Rover. So, next expense, we are going to get the palletizing hall. Where's my Land Rover? Yeah, we're going to get the palletizing hall and we're going to sort out. I'm not going to do any palletizing in this. We're going to sort out getting straw and we'll do some pelleting. We've already got some pellets done that we did in the last one, but we're going to do some more. Let's get that up across a little bit. And let's guess what? <laughs> it looks so bizarre. It's funny though, you, see, you look at it and you think that looks so bizarre. But I was I was watching Simon Reeve the other day. Reeves, Reeves, Reeve the other day. And one of the ones he was doing, he was going across India. And when you see the little mopeds and scooters and uh, just loaded up with you can't believe the amount they've got on them. 
on the front, on the back, and it's absolutely crazy. So look at that. You think, actually, that's that's not so bad, is it? I'll see you up there in a minute. We, I will sort out getting the palletizing all plates. I really hope it works. It doesn't become the ghostly husk. And then I'm going to harvest field two. And, oh, I need to get the... Oh, I should have got the milling machine while I was down there. I can't pick it up yet anyway. We'll sort the milling machine out. Now, between recording parts of this, the gold production facility has become available from Farmer Manual. I was only talking about it earlier on in the episode. That is now available. And it's more, it's like a smelting sort of plant, really. You provide it with propane, and gold bars come out the other end. So, I don't, will we maybe... Yeah, we might do. Just so we can leave chugging away, can't we? Get a gold bar. I think you get one and a half gold bars every two days. So, it might be something to do. We can provide a service to the local gold miners. They can bring their gold to us and we can smelt it. That's what I'm going with. The money's gone down. We have the milling machine. Field 2 is being harvested as we speak. Straw swath is being left behind. The, pal the palletizing hall is up on our hard standing area. Weirdly, I mean, I, I used this a lot on Stone Valley. And it didn't look so big on the front of the, the BSM 850s. It looks huge on the front of this. We need to... Right, it's good to go. So the beauty with this being, like I said before, because this is 250,000 litres, it's not going to fill up doing this field. It shouldn't fill up doing this field. So we'll get around and do this. Now, the other good thing about doing pellets this way, which is, like I say, it is a cheaty way. I mean, let's be honest, it's not supposed to work this way. You're supposed to use the pelleting machine, the Primos 5000. Now, the thing with the Primos V 5000 is that to make pellets they get compacted and it's a 4 to 1 ratio so you only get you know a quarter back in pellets doing it this way when you put pellets from loose material in a silo into a mixer wagon it's a 1 to 1 so if I've got 50,000 litres of loose straw I'll get 50,000 litres of pellets. Again, you're not supposed to. Or well, let's say 40,000. If it was 40,000, I'll get 40,000. If I had 40,000 litres of straw, I would only get 10,000 litres of pellets. If I was using the the, um, the Primos. So, yeah, it's, it is... Th there's no choice about it. It is properly dodgy. But it does work... And it does give you the ability, like I said, it's probably what, if I haven't already said it, I'm probably going to call this episode Alternatives, because it is, the various different things I've been doing have all been all alternatives. You know, doing it this way rather than a loading wagon, using a feed mixer rather than the, the uh, I keep saying it's the Primos, isn't it? Rather than the Primos, um, you know, using the larger capacity egg uh, pallets and all those things, it's, they're alternatives to what you can usually use to a standard bit of kit, whatever, you know. I suppose any mod, any modification you use is an alternative, of course it is. Now I said I was going to use that silo for overflow, I'm going to put straw in it, which will be converted into straw pellets. So whilst straw will be stored in initially, that is all going to be converted into pellets, so it will only be for pellets once the conversion has been done. Now, could I make it quicker? Yes, if I had a larger feed mixer. And the one that I used on six ashes was a 45,000 litre one. That pecan one, do you remember the, the big 64,000 litre one? That would have been perfect. Wouldn't it? But we can, we can make our pellets... I mean, I'm going to be doing an 18,000 litre chunk, so it's going to take a little while. But again, the beauty of using that silo, the Mercury Farms one, 
is that I can leave the mixer wagon, the same as when I do total mix ration using loose material, I can just leave it sat over the grate so I can put straw in the top, it turns to pellets which I unload immediately back into the silo at the bottom. It just, it, it will work. Now I'm going to have all the straw to come off of field 10 as well from the oats. Am I going to convert all of that over to pellets? I don't know. The thing is, I'm racking my brains at the moment, trying to think whether or not it works. With, have I got any hay in storage? There might be a little bit in storage. No, I'm almost certain from doing six ashes, I'm sure it only works with straw, doesn't it? Which means I'm going to need the Primos anyway. If I'm going to do hay pellets, I'm going to need the Primos. So whilst I might be able to do a little bit of a, a, a cheaty work around here and, and get a load of straw pellets sort of on the cheap, I'm still going to need to do it. I've got, I mean, in all honesty, I've got enough money. I could buy the Primos now. I, did, I wasn't sure I would have enough money. I didn't know what I would get at midnight for the biogas plant. I didn't anticipate getting as much for the digestate. So we have got enough. I have still got the mill loader sitting down at the docks, which I only use for doing forestry. And at the moment it seems like a bit of a waste because that was an expensive bit of kit and that's just sat down there. I haven't used that since or since I cleared all these fields right at the very start. Field 2 is clear. We've got 128,860 litres of straw. Field 1, harvest has begun canola. And we've got 30, I think 31,000 litres of wheat off of field 2. I've put the milling machine into the shed over there next to the baler. And I have just checked the, the hay situation. You don't get hay pellets if you put hay into the mixer. It's only with straw. I'm not quite sure why it does it. So, the next step then. Once field 10 has been harvested, I'll get all the straw off that as well. Just see how much I'll get because I didn't think I'd get 128,000 litres off that one. And then we'll check out our building to make sure it's not hollow. Great thing with this trailer as well, it doesn't tip. So we can unload no problem into here. See what I will do, I think. Put the light on just to make it a bit easier to see. There we go. Excellent. Put that to one side there. So let's just make sure. <laughs> let's take a run at it. Nope, that seems pretty solid. I think the last time it was when I saved the game and came back. We'll see. I'm think I am toying with. I am toying with buying the pelletizer, the Primos, but I think I might sell the mill loader to cover it, and then if I do any more forestry further down the line and want to use the mill loader, I'll just lease it. Because I think I'm going to do more potentially with this because I've invested in it then I will do oh I don't know oh nearly full grain tank already okay everything's looking good now I could just if I wanted to once I've done the pellets I could pile them up in these and use the crane to pick them up and put them into the hopper I don't think if I back a trailer up you get a trigger for putting into there I've only ever done it actually using the Primos in here and loading bales onto the Primos so it then makes the pellets and puts them into there all in one kind of go. I suppose what I could do, oh, have I? I'm just trying to think. What I could do is put a, a conveyor, a small conveyor maybe there and dump in front of the conveyor so it tips in. I don't know. Well, I'll have a think. Like I say, there's a few options. So what I can do now is a process of conversion. And as I mentioned, I could I could get a much bigger mi feed mixer now, I guess. Got enough money if I wanted to. I wanted to get another tractor, that's why I'm a bit kind of... I don't want to necessarily spend all the money I've got now. Uh, that's the way I want to go. So, fill it with straw. And it turns into straw pellets immediately. 
and I get like for like 18,000 litres of straw turns into 18,000 litres of pellets rather than the 4 to 1 ratio then I have unload it which side is it unloading? Ah, that side straight back into the silo so hopefully our straw should be there 110,000 litres now and what we should get is at the other end straw pellets going in so I could just spend a load of time now I mean, it's not going to take too long 18,000 litres a go and then it's just tip in, unload, tip in, unload I'm making pellets it's dodgy it's nefarious it's you know of course it is I know it is I'm not hurting anybody you don't have to do it this way if you don't want to and like I said I don't know, I'll probably repeat myself so many times over it's weird how sometimes you do an episode and I've mentioned this before how you can do an episode and it just flows I might record in three sittings or three sort of sections but all in one sitting or I might do an episode where I actually do th two, three, four sit downs you know so I might do a bit of recording go off and do something else I might come back a few hours later do a bit more then it might, it might be the following day I record a bit more and then I get enough compiled together to put my episode together other times I'll sit down and just record for two hours bomb 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 edit bang and off I go so apologies if I have been repeating myself because like I said this has been kind of recorded over a, a, a bit of a span but yeah I mean I'm going to have to do the hay pellets correctly because there's no other way of doing it you get the idea Just turn off. so next episode I'm going to be looking at taking the straw pellets from there putting them into there and we'll start getting some straw pallet actually you know what I need to do maybe an extension oh I wonder if I could put the lean twos on that'll work won't it I could just put a separate hole but that gets quite expensive you know what I'm gonna do it now let's go to our sheds I think I've got them installed still I did have these the porches I like these they work really well now you can have it that way around if I wanted to or I could do it the other way around so it's kind of sort of cantilevered I guess out from the wall if I take that in a bit am I touching the wall it's just not quite the right angle is it how do I get the building at the right angle but I can't get that at the right angle no, that's too far. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Am I touching? I don't think I am. It's so difficult to tell. Console for doing things like this can be a pain sometimes. Yeah, if there's a gap, look. In a little bit, just... Just a fraction. No. That might be about right. Bang. 2,900, bolted onto the wall, so when my pallets are done, I get my straw pellet pallets, bring around, store them under here. I can have half of this being straw, half of it being hay, until I'm ready for delivery and I can load it onto a lorry, and off we go. Excellent. Um, so I think, just trying to think, oh I need to unload now, don't I? I need to prep this. That needs fertilising, but doesn't need ploughing, I don't think yet. Let me double check. The whole process rolls round again. Nope, that doesn't need anything. I just need to fertilise it, then I can re-sow. That is going to need liming, and potentially, does it need ploughing? Nope, just lime. So once that's cleared, that will need lime. Then I'll move on to harvesting our sunflower and the canola in that one. Then when they're all done... I'll move over to field 10 and we'll get our oats done. So, yeah, right, pellets. 
what else i'm i'm considering i'm i'm seriously considering the uh the gold production the smelting i think i might i might just put it in, in a corner somewhere i might stick it over actually by the propane uh, facility that way i've got to deliver the propane too far or i could do it the other way around and put it over by the um the gold mine so the any gold that comes out the gold mine i can smelt that might be better, mightn't it? Then all I've got to do is deliver propane every now and again. If I'm going to do a propane run anyway, anyway, somewhere else, 32,000 litres of it can go over there, can't it? I think that's what I'll do. So, harvest is waiting, and it's the wrong way around. Of course it is. I'm going to go and put this into the silo, and then I'm going to go and unload that, and uh, get some more harvesting done. And I will see you on the next one for more farming, more fun, more jobs, all the stuff I do, and my usual chit chat as we go i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching